I'm Denise with Artist and Her Paint Party. You have to customize it. Make something that you like. Make it personal to you. However that is. Oh! <laughs> That's so cute! I love his little hat. You could be painting your bunny in. I just, so this is a pretty spring bunny and I think that nice, lighter, you know, softer colors look really nice for spring pastel big or as small as you want. Hey, Nisi. Hey, Rach. Can you slow down a little bit? Sure thing. Actually, I thought it was almost looking like a butterfly, but uh, I thought it would be cool, and I had an apple today, so I saved the core. <laughs> That's a great. I wasn't sure if it would work or not, but I thought I'd give it a try. Yeah, I really like that you're reusing the material that may not seem to have a purpose. It might have otherwise been thrown out. Right. Well, hi, you guys. I'm Denise with Artist at Heart Paint Party, and I am so excited to do a patriotic painting with you today. Woo, who's ready? Um, I just want to let you know that when you guys find things that you want to create, right, like fun little things, a beautiful flag, some of this, right? So this painting today is of a mason jar, which I have here, right? And it's got stuff inside of it, okay? Well, I didn't want to put sparklers, the paintings of sparklers, but I didn't want to put sparklers in it, so this is the next best thing, right? So when you set up something like this, it's called still life. So this is a glass jar with some stuff inside of it. Now, when you set up a still life, you can use anything that you like, right? So you find something, it could be your favorite uh, toy, it could be your favorite flower pot with flowers inside of it. So that's what a still life is. A still life is when you set something up that you want to create. So my still life today is of a ball mason jar with some sparkly stuff and a flag, right? Now, I am going to, I want to start this in case you guys don't have a black canvas. Today, it, it comes out the best if you have a dark background. So if you don't have a black canvas, I am going to take an old canvas just to show you how to do this, okay? You guys. So I my most popular painting that I do all the time is a sunset, okay? And I have about 50 of these, different versions. Plus, I messed this one up. See how I smudged the black paint into the sun? But um, it's okay because, again, I have so many versions of this. So I'm going to use this one. So if you guys have a mistake canvas and you want to cover it black, that's a great thing to do with it. Or you could have a black canvas that you already purchased. So I'm just going to take this and I'm going to take a dry, flat, one-inch paintbrush, but yours can be any size. Oh, you know what? Let's just move this. Let's move this for a second. Okay. Here. So I'm just going to turn it. So today's format, oops, now I'm out of the camera. Real quick, I just, look, I'm going to paint over it, okay? And if you guys don't have a black canvas, this is acrylic paint, I want you guys to do this first so it has time to dry. Now it's warm here. I'm, at, I'm in Cleveland, Ohio. So it's warm here. So it's going to dry really, really fast. It's a beautiful day. You know, somehow, you guys, we skipped spring here in Cleveland. It went from snowing on Mother's Day to 80 degrees and sunny. But that's okay, because I am so ready for summer. Summer, summer, summer. I love summer. All right, so don't be sad that I just painted over that sunset. Because, you guys, I have so many of these. So because I do... Uh, both in-person paint parties and virtual. I, you know what? I did this sunset twice last weekend. So that means I have two more of these. Now, I'll, I donate a lot of them. One of them I was at a church, so I left it there for them. They can raffle it off. They can give it away. They can hang it in their office, right? So before I start my sloppy copy, you guys, I want you to cover your canvas with black because it'll come out better. If you're using acrylic, this is, it won't work with watercolor paint. So make sure you're using acrylic. All right. So there. So now I'm back. Hey, did you miss me? All right. So 
cover your canvas with black acrylic paint or buy a black one. All right, now I'm going to set that aside to dry. Let's put the real one back up there. This is the one we're doing today. I had it so perfectly placed and I had to go move it. All right. Are you guys in a good mood today? I'm in a good mood. Woohoo! We're going to celebrate, celebrate. Oh, I can't sing. Well, I really can't sing, but I don't want them to like say I don't have a copyright to this. So, all right, you guys, now we're going to do sloppy copy. So all you need is white paper to practice or sketchbook paper or whatever it is that you have. And my hair is really giving me a hard time today. I guess it's time for another haircut. Okay, I'm going to draw a Sharpie marker, but I want you to use a pencil, okay? So let's see. Okay, so I'm going to... Oh, let's get this out of the way. So I just wanted to show you guys. I, I don't know why it has the word. I was meant to Google this. You guys see if you can tell me, why is it called ball? Why is the word ball on here? And you know what? You don't have to paint the word ball on there. You can um, do USA. You can do celebrate. All right, let's get that out of the way. Now I have more room to work. Yay. All right. So let's start. How about the, let's start with the biggest part, which would be the mason jar. So how about if we start right around, so my format is vertical or portrait. I'm gonna do a horizontal line right around here. Okay, that's gonna be like the lip of the jar. And then how about if I go down and out and around and up and in. Is it perfect? No. And you guys, you know what? It's really challenging drawing from the side. That's like really lopsided. <laughs> so if you want it to be really balanced and symmetrical, you could always fold a piece of paper in half and cut it out. And then that way it's going to be the same on both sides. Definitely will look better. Now, again, that's why I want you guys to use a pencil. Look, if I wanted to make it a little bit better, so it's a little bit more balanced. This is That's why we do a sloppy copy. I'm going to do a horizontal line. So that's the jar, the, the top of the jar. So I have like three. You could have two, you could have three. Now, and if you guys want to use a ruler, you can use a ruler uh, to do like the sticks of the flag or the sparklers. So I'm going to do, 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 I'll do a diagonal line. I'll put a little baby circle on top here. That's going to be the, my flag. And a wavy line. There's my flag in my mason jar. And then I'm going to do more of a vertical line. And it doesn't have to be completely vertical. And then another diagonal. And then just some little lines for the fireworks or those are sparklers but i don't want to have sparklers in my house right so who likes sparklers do you guys like sparklers all right so again this is and some of these will look like big v's don't they and then we could do like a arched line here for the bottom of the vase and you don't have to add the details right because the stars and everything else that's the details will add at the end what happened to my mason jar i know i set it aside isn't that oh here it is okay so here's the real mason jar so it does have one two three three lips right or edges and then the ball on top, right? And it also says Mason. So now on my painting that I did here, I have two, but on my practice one, I have three. So it's up to you guys what you have on there. Yay, USA, celebrate, celebrate. All right, who's celebrating? 
Okie dokie. We can celebrate when we're done. We can celebrate more once we get this painting done. Okay, so there's my sloppy copy. Are you guys keeping up? Now, if your black is not dry yet, you guys can get a blow dryer and dry it. So that is what I want you guys to do. Or you can practice or you can watch, right? But I really want you to, or you can hopefully, you know, it's cool those black canvases that you guys can buy. I wanna make sure you guys are all good in here. Oh, um, maybe, so you guys, Jim is behind the scenes uh, and, hmm, Jim, Hey, Jim, could you give Lola in the group this, the link for here? She's in the private group and sure. she can't find the, that's why I wanted to just make sure. I will do that. Thank you. She commented under my one video. So you guys, we're going live today on the main Facebook page. So um, I hope, you know, to show it since we're celebrating usa i wanted to do a free live class and we also have our members group so the members have their own subscription group where i go live and they have all of the templates and we do lots of fun live videos as well as recordings and crafts and stuff like that so wednesdays at one is when we always go live and today we're doing it on the main facebook page so i just wanted to make sure all my members could find us so hey lola did you find us I want to make sure Lola's here. Oh, good. Hey, all of us here. Yay. I'm just checking comments now. All of us here. Emma and Bella. Uh, Lola, Lola. I'm waiting for you, Lola. So you guys, if you're here, give me a shout out. I want to see in the comments who's here. So I know a lot of people are finishing school this week. Some kids are already out. Can you guys believe it? So um, I know most of the schools around Cleveland are out um, this week. Friday is their last day, for, right before Memorial Day. So that's exciting. I'm sure the parents are all thrilled, right? Ready to entertain those kids. Okay, so you guys, even this one, this is, right? This was painted over. This is an old canvas that I used and just recycled. So I repurposed this um, canvas and I'm gonna, if you have white chalk and make sure your canvas is dry, you can, um, sorry if I stick my head in there. I want this one to come out a little bit more balanced. So I'm gonna start this one. Let's do, we'll do three. One, this will be the, so I'm using white. If you guys, if it's dry, you can use white chalk. I'm using the oil-based Sharpie marker. Okay. Let's hope I can do this one a little bit more balanced. So it's symmetrical. Ah. It's still a little lopsided, isn't it? It's kind of hard to draw from the side, you guys. But I can fix it later with my paint, so I'm not even going to worry about that. So the right there, we're, and chalk too, you guys. Chalk will come right off, so all I have to do is paint over it. I'm using the oil-based Sharpie marker, so it shows up better on canvas. If you're using chalk, it's going to be really light. Here's like a reflection line. All right, so now I'm going to do that diagonal line with the little baby circle on top. And a wavy line. How are you guys coming along? Hey, you guys. I see everybody's here. I want to make sure that Lola got found us. So there's our mason jar. Is my mason jar perfect? No. So um, it's not perfect. Look at this side. The lip's out a little bit more than the other side, 
right? So I can fix it later when I'm painting it. No one will even know. So think of this like a sketch, especially if you're doing it in chalk. Yeah, I put the link in the on the Facebook page. Comments. Thank you, thank you. Because yeah, since the group, since it's not playing in the group, they need to go to the yeah, Facebook page. Yeah, hey. hey, Lola. So Lola, today we're doing it um, live on the main Facebook page. So that's why we're not in the subscription group. Just so you know, I just want to make sure you found us. So if you don't have a black canvas, you can paint a canvas solid black. So if you're just joining us. I painted this a few minutes ago. So Lola, I just reused an old canvas that I didn't like anymore. So I just painted over it black and I'm letting it dry. Okay. And then after it's dry, so you can use a blow dryer to dry it. You can sketch out the design with a white chalk on top of your acrylic paint. So this project works best with acrylic paint. Now, if you don't have acrylic paint, you can use black construction paper. Do you have um, gel pens, gel markers, uh, Crayola construction paper crayons, right? All those things work great on a dark surface. So this particular painting works best either on black canvas or something dark, and then um, we're gonna paint light on top of it. So if you have white chalk, you can sketch it out with white chalk. If you don't have white chalk, I used a Sharpie oil-based marker because um, it shows up better on camera for you guys to see. Chalk's a little bit lighter, but chalk will come right off, right? This is not, you guys, this is not coming off. So I am gonna paint over it to kind of hide lines or my mistakes. Okay, so now you see my one flag in there. And so these are sparklers, right? So this is, um, I'm gonna do a vertical line. And okay, so that's bent, right? You can use a ruler, you guys. And then obviously I should be using a ruler. And then I'm gonna do another one right here. Roughly, right? It doesn't have to be perfect. And I'm not even gonna bother. I mean, if you wanna sketch out your grass, you can, but you guys know that's easy to add, right? And then the firework lines are more like, to give you an idea. And you can do a sloppy copy. So there, again, is a real rough, and if you want to add your little, they could be stars, they could be sparkles, they could be little dragonflies, these little yellow glowing circles. They could be um, like the sparks that come off of your sparklers. All right, how's everybody doing? Are you guys all keeping up with me? All right, I know someone's gonna have this answer. So why do they put bar on mason jars? Bar, oh, ball, it says ball. What am I thinking about? Ooh. <laughs> Bar, uh, ball. Why do they put ball on mason jars, okay? Is that someone's last name? I'm just wondering. I meant to Google that. I know you guys know. You guys are so smart. So see if you can find out. Let me know. Why do they put that word on there? So I want you guys to think about it. You don't have to have ball on your mason jar. You could have USA, you could have freedom, you could have celebrate, you could put your last name, you could put your first name. You guys think outside the box, right? So I think outside the Amazon box. What's in the box? Oh my gosh, where's my Amazon box? What's in the Amazon box today? Think outside the box. Hey, you guys, I've been giving my paintings away to the Amazon drivers. I try to post the pictures, but sometimes I miss them, so I don't always get to see. My new thing is that anybody that comes over to my house, they have to take a painting with them. Because <laughs> I have, you guys know I have over 200 some paintings, and then again, every time I do another painting, then I have another one, and then another one. So this is actually a great one to give away this weekend. I think I have. I'm trying to think if I have an Amazon package coming soon. So, okay. 
again, once you get it sketched out, now if you're working on um, black construction paper, try a white color pencil. How about white out? Do you guys have, do they still make white out? White out was something that I had, I bet you they don't even make it anymore. We used to type with the typewriter. Oh, she's done. All right, you guys are all caught up. Okay, so we used to type with the typewriter. The white out was when you made mistakes, which I made mistakes typing all the time. Okay, so now, yes, people want to start painting, so I'm going to quit talking so much. You guys, how about some blue paint? So really, we want to do the background with some blue lines. So use any blue acrylic that you have. I'm using a brown paintbrush that looks like this, right? And I'm just going to do it right through because I can add more later. Now, to me, that looks too solid. So I'm kind of using a curved brush stroke. Do you see that? And it's just the plain blue on the dry black. So think of this like the background. So see how it's gonna help that the background is already black, right? Because it's like nighttime. But I don't want to do it solid blue. I just want those paint brush strokes. And I don't want it to be too blue around my flag because you want to have contrast, right? You want the contrast to show up later when we put the blue in the flag. So I'm not going to put a lot in that area, but I can put some over here. And again, don't do too much blue around the flag because we want that blue to show up inside the flag. And then I definitely want to add some in here. Now, don't worry if you cover your line because we can always add the lines in later. That's just as a reference, really. So we'll be overlapping some of this. Hey, Rally, Charlotte, Tatum, and Reagan. Is it Raleigh? Raleigh. Raleigh did a truck the other day. Your truck was awesome with pencil. A lot of people like to do their own thing, which I love. I love when you guys do your own thing. So I'm just kind of curving it around here. Curve it around the edge here. I don't even see sparklers in the store anymore. What if they still sell them? They're dangerous, so I'm not recommending you guys play with them. I mean, I know you can get burnt from them. They're probably not as common as they used to be. Okay, let's put some more blue in here. It'll make the mason jar look more interesting, right? Now, royal, uh, like a navy blue is not going to look great on top of black because it'll be too dark. So you want, right, you don't want to put navy blue on top of black. You just won't have the contrast. I'm going to put some blue in here. So think the mason jar is glass, right? So it's, we want to give it the appearance that it's reflective.
you could write so my my shirt says home of the brave right land of the free home of the brave maybe you put the word brave on your jar instead of ball or free Okay, so I'm going to put a little bit more blue over here. So again, you want to get the blue in now. It's going to be hard to add it later because we're going to be layering. So what are you guys doing to celebrate? Are you cooking out? Are you going to the beach? Do, 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 do. And this is why I love acrylic paint, you guys. Do you see how the acrylic goes right on top of the black? Right? You can't do that with watercolor paint. Now, oil pastels would cover black. That's a very opaque, thick product. So that's what's so nice about oil pastels or construction paper crayons because they're thick, but this project works great with acrylic if you can use acrylic paint. All right, I'm going to put a little bit more blue up by my fireworks. I haven't really added a lot of blue up there. And a lot of that's going to get covered with um, color of your fireworks. And you guys, you don't have to use the same colors as me with the fireworks. So my fireworks are yellow and red and white. But you guys, you know, fireworks are all different colors. So and remember here, I went out a little bit so I could cover some of that. And I'm not worried about the blue underneath the flag because the blue part in the flag is up here. So it's okay if you get blue down here. So uh, over on uh, Amazon, Shorter just said, told us that Ball is the company that made them. They sold the glass jar making part and now produce metal and aluminum cans. And that her boyfriend works for Ball Corporation in Finley, Ohio. Oh, my. And, and they make lots of Coke, Budweiser, and other cans. And that's uh, why they want to do this project. I thought that's really cool. Yeah, okay. That is great to know. And I'm in Ohio, and I should know that. Okay. <laughs> and I thank you for that information. That is great to know because I was, you know, I was wondering. I'm like, I'm going to Google this before I go live. And I didn't, you guys. I was trying to set up the scene for today. Woo, you know, get my hair, my I don't know why I bother with my hair because it just doesn't, you know, but look at my bow. What do you guys think of the bow? <laughs> Are you guys liking the bow? Very cool. <laughs> so that is great information. Thank you so much. In Finley, Ohio, I'm going to look that up. That's interesting. And I wonder why they would have sold it because that is like a huge classic, you know, um, glass mason jar for sure. And it's definitely been around for a while. Interesting. Fun fact. Love that. I knew you guys would know that. All right. I think that's enough blue. And remember, you want it to be pretty dark where the fireworks are, right? Because you want it to look like it's exploding. And so it has contrast. If you want to put a little blue at the bottom, we can put a little blue at the bottom. We can always add more later. Okay. How about what? Let's do the flag. Yay, flag. Okay, so here, I'm gonna take this one out of the jar. So right, the the blue part of the flag is a rectangle. Now we're not, it doesn't have to be exactly a rectangle because it's hanging, right? You're not gonna see a perfect rectangle because it's like hanging or blowing in the wind. So I'm gonna do a, it right here. And I'm using the same blue. It might need two coats because it's on top of that black.
put a curve in it. Follow the line of that flag. So if your flag is curved, follow that line. Okay. So there, and I painted right over my white line. So if you're using chalk, you can paint right over that chalk line or color pencil or whatever it is that you're using. Now, do you guys know the first stripe in the flag, what color it is? Red. The first stripe and the last stripe are red okay first and last are red how many stripes are there what do they represent see if you guys know that while i'm painting my stripes in so again i'm not going to be able to fit all blank amount i'm not telling you you're going to tell me so but the first one's going to be red and the last one i'm going to do the last one in here is going to be red So here, how many do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I fit nine. Okay, you guys know that there's more than nine stripes on the flag, but fit however many you can. If I did 13, I gave you the answer, I would end up all the way down here by my mason jar, right? So I'm just, I just want you to fit as many as you can. So I'm gonna leave a space in between. So there's one, I'll leave a little space for the white. And I'll put, I'll put another one right in here. So on my flag, I fit one, two, three, four. I fit five red stripes. But you guys, again, you can fit as many as you want. And maybe I give it a second coat after it's dry. Don't try to give it a second coat while it's still wet. We got to let it dry. Okay, I'm going to leave that alone, right? Got to leave it alone. And I am going to go to some white because I want to let it dry. So I'm going to add some white in my fireworks so it has time to dry. So if you guys um, have white, and I'm just going to do these, I'm using a round paintbrush, and I'm just doing wispy lines out like this. I would do a flower very similar to my fireworks or my sparklers too but I want this oops that one was really big make them as big as you want and I could add more white later and I'm going to do this one over here too They can overlap. Finley, Ohio. You guys, I don't even know where Finley, Ohio is. I'm going to look that up too. I'm going to guess it's south of me. I'm going to guess it's by Cincinnati maybe? Toledo? Now look at this big streak right there. Okay, what happens if you do one like that and you don't like it? Like, I don't like that. I'm going to let it dry, and then I can put a little black over it, a little blue over it. So wherever I make mistakes. Now, if I try to do it now, I would end up with gray. So I'm going to leave it alone, right? And let it dry. It's patience is tough. You know, patience is a tough one, you guys. All right. So, so Finley, Ohio is in the northwest of Ohio. What's it near? Uh, <laughs> let's see. Hancock County near I-75. And it's actually known as Flag City, USA. I'm going to go there. I'm going to take a road trip this summer. You guys, I'm in Cleveland, Ohio, and I am embarrassed that I don't know where this is. So I'm going to find out. Now, I'm going to tell you, I think I was in eighth grade when we learned all about Ohio, and where all the rivers went, right? And I... I didn't do great in that class, but um, I tried. So 
<laughs> I, I'm laughing because when we had to take the, the test of Ohio, I shouldn't even tell you this, but I'm going to. So you guys, this, I, I had my Ohio in front of me, which actually looks like a badge. Okay. And it was upside down and the teacher came and turned it right side up. I was really embarrassed. So <laughs> my friends still remember that today. They're like, remember when we were taking the test of Ohio, but I'm going to study and I'm going to learn. Right. So, yeah. It's, so it looks like it's West of you. Um, and, and right off of I-75. Hmm. Well, I'm going to, I'm going to check it out. Thank you for that. Okay. So while I'm using the white, I'm going to go into my mason jar a little bit here. You guys can re-outline it with white. How's everybody doing out there? So this one, look, it has two lips. I showed you that the real mason jar has three lips. I'll show you again. So remember the real mason jar has three, but you guys can make as many as you want to. And in the beginning, I was telling you guys, a still life is when you take objects and set them up and copy them. So you can do that with anything that you like. All right, so I'm going to do three over here. So I'll do one, two, so, three. So Shorter gave us a couple more fun facts. It's, so it's an hour south of Toledo, and it's also the headquarters of Marathon Petroleum and Cooper Tire. Wow, I had no idea. Yeah. That is very cool. Very cool. Thank you for that. Hmm. I know that uh, Cleveland in general has a lot of, um, well, not as like used to, I was going to say steel mills, but not like we used to, but we still have many industries here like that produce tires and steel. Okay, so I am just re-outlining. And again, if I made a mistake, I'm just gonna, you know, try to make it more balanced. Sorry if my head's in the camera, but I'm trying to make my mason jar not be too lopsided. So we want to make it look like glass. So that's where the reflection is going to come in to play. It's fun to paint on black canvas. And then if you guys make a mistake, you know, we're going to put grass in. Well, if you want, you don't have to have grass, but the grass can cover a lot of my mistakes. Oh, who makes mistakes? I never make a mistake, you guys. I make mistakes all the time. But I don't tell anybody. Shh. You don't have to tell anybody your mistakes, right? Okay, I'm going to stick my head over here real quick. See how I didn't stay on the line here because it was a little bit lopsided, but I'm going to paint over that white line. Or it could be part of the reflection, right? So I'm just going to add these like little white lines for the reflection. You could put a dragonfly in there. You could put a little dragonfly in your jar. Or firefly. Like, um, is that what they, yeah, the firefly. Yeah, you'll, you'll love this quote too. No mistakes, just happy accidents, Bob Ross. Thank you. Yes, yes. I'm shorter over on Amazon. We love Bob Ross. Happy little accidents, right? I love that. So this one to me, look at that. That does not look curved enough. Did you notice like that line right there? It kind of flattened out my jar. So again, I'll show you later how to fix anything that you don't like. But let's get those happy little accident, right? I'm not having a breakdown here. I'm going to... Now you guys, you can always use a paint marker if you have that white one. But I'm going to go slow. And if you have a ruler, you can use a ruler. I'm going to do the flag stick. You could always do it in silver. The white's going to have more contrast. 
So that means it's going to show up better. So why didn't I jump in my lines yet here? Why didn't I do those lines yet? Because I'm waiting for the red to dry. So if I did it while the red was wet, you know I would bump into the red and then I'd end up with pink. And I don't want pink stripes on my flag. So I'm being patient and letting it dry. Okay. And that's why I'm working on other areas with my white paint. So I'm still going to, I don't think it's dry enough yet and I don't want pink. So I'm going to do this one. And this one. Now, so let's, I'm going to fix this. So I'm just going to take a little bit of blue and a little bit of white and make it a little bit lighter. Let's see. Does that look better? Like to me, this one is not curved enough. But it can still look like a reflection. So I'm going to leave it alone and let it dry. So it's lighter blue. So it's the same blue with just a little bit of white in it. Ooh, did you guys hear that? That was thunder. We're going to get rain. It hasn't rained here in like a week. I like rain because you know what? Then I don't have to water my flowers. Now I'm going to put some of that light blue. So take a little bit of blue and a little bit of white, mix them together. And you can add, again, highlights like it's a reflection in the rim. See there, I'm just putting a little bit of light blue in there. You guys see that? Looks different up close, doesn't it? Than far away. Look at that, I just got a smudge of white down there. Maybe you put some more highlights down in the bottom of the glass. That's up to you. Just don't overdo it. Right? Because we want it to look like glass. All right. Eh, my red's almost dry. How about let's let's go to um, the green grass. We'll, we're going to be patient. We're still going to. I didn't even put green on my plate yet. Here's what I have on my plate. Red, white, and blue. My patriotic plate, you guys. I'm using styrofoam. I have my black on a separate plate because I always end up getting the black in my color. I mean, I try to be neat, but if you guys have been with me for a while, I'm not so neat. So I'm going to just put some green on the plate now. If you don't have green, you can mix yellow and blue together. Yellow and blue make green, right? Two primary colors. Yellow and blue are primary. And together they're going to make green. So you, you need more yellow than blue, just a little blue and a lot more yellow. And now watch, I'm just going to do some lines going up like this. So I'm using a round paint brush. So that means that it's kind of pointy, not a flat one. And I'm just going up. And you don't even have to have grass if you don't want to. They could go all the way down to the bottom. And you can make your grass go up as high as you want to. You can overlap it. I like to see, oh, and do you guys see, look at my white is still wet. Okay, that looks cool, but that's really a mistake, okay? But that looks cool how the white smudge. So I remember, I just did it. So let's, I'll just try to go around it so I don't lose all that. 
but green, green, green. This is a pretty green. You can use any kind of green you want. And again, go up as high as you want to. And you could put some reflection of the blue, green on your glass too, right? Because your glass would reflect all the colors around it. All right, you guys. So I don't know. I'm 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 liking it. I don't know if I like the grass right here. Okay, so look, again, I gotta be patient. You guys patient? Are you more patient than me? Sometimes I'm like, oh, I wanna fix it right now. I want it, I don't like it. I want it better right now. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how I would fix that. So I could go back in with my blue or my black here, cause I think that grass is too much and just go back into it. It's almost like erasing it, but I'm really not erasing it. I'm just painting over with black, which will make it disappear. And you can do that in any area. If you get any area that ends up too solid, you can go back into it with more black or more blue. You see? Hmm. All right. And this corner to me looks lopsided. So what do you do with a lopsided corner? You know what you do? You cover it. <laughs> no one knows. Happy little accident. So again, it is lopsided. Just paint over it. No one's going to know. It's because now it's got grass over it, right? Bye-bye. Bye-bye. You're gone. All right. So you guys, I have a change. I have a, I have a hat change. What do you think? I wanted you guys to tell me which one you like better. Oh, I'm gonna surprise you. Hold on, I just dropped it on the floor. Ready? Let me see if I can figure out which is the front. I think this is the front. All right, ready? Here's my here's my second one. Which one you like better? <laughs> yeah! I'm an all-American cowgirl. Not really. All right, I'm all American Cleveland girl. But what do you think? Hmm? Although Jim behind the scenes is Southern. So thank you, Jim, for your service, retired military. And thank you for all of our retired veterans who have served our country and people who are currently serving as well. Uh, thank you so much. Okay, so I'm going to try to paint with this on. It's slightly blocking my vision. It's weird, but I'm going to give it a try. Okay, and again, I want you guys to start thinking about what word you're going to use. <laughs> You like the bow better? Oh, hey, Jim, whenever you want, if you want to give them the link, you can give them the link if you guys want to come on camera. I know uh, some people have to go early. So, um, yeah, yeah. I, put, I put the link in the, it's on the Facebook page. You just need to go into the comments. Got it. So, Lola, go on into the comments and the link to come on is in there. And I'm going to keep working on my painting, but I want you guys, you don't even have to add a word if you don't want to, but um, you could, again, you could do freedom. You can leave it without a word. You can do your first name. So you guys just think about what you want to do. I'm going to put a little bit more grass right here. Okay. Get it to where you like it. Okay, let's add the yellow. I, man, Lola painted fast today. I'm going to put some yellow in my fireworks, but again, you got, or these are sparklers. So wispy little lines with a round paintbrush. I'm using yellow acrylic paint. Got to make sure your background's dry. Oh, who's here? Hey, Lola. 
You ready to bring her on? Sure. All right. Oh, hi. hi, Lola. You like the bow better than my hat? Yeah, I like the bow, and I have these little stuff, like the braid. It's oh, that's like, cool. Like a little headband. Yeah, I like that. Let me, and it's got fringe on the end? Yeah. Very cool. And then I have this one. This is my art. So are you using construction paper? Yeah, no, um, we're using, what is the paper called? We're using this kind of paper, and it belongs, it belongs to these pencils, so we use a different kind of material. I yeah. love it, I love, so it's, those are, um, you're using yeah. color pencils, those are colored pencils that are made to color on black, right? Yeah, and, um, we didn't use the color pencils. We used different kind of stuff. We oh. use um, oil pastels. I oh. just wanted to say, if you have black paper like me, um, be careful with the yellow. What happens with the yellow? It turns a little brown. Oh. And so I had to cover it up. Oh, I, I can't hold it up closer. I couldn't tell. I I um it did have a little yellow here, but little yellow, but I. Put red on top for you won't see it. I see. It looks really good. You would never know. <laughs> and I just wanted to say maybe we could do some stuff like out of clay or something because I want to make some stuff. For, I have a fairy garden. I want to make some stuff. Maybe for oh, my clay. How cute. Maybe like I wonder if the self hardening clay would be good for outside. Well, mm, I'll look. I, I'll look. I'll, I'll check into it. I would love to do clay. I um, love you throw a clay if you're using it, and then you make something and you wait. It's gonna have little cracks, so be careful with that. Okay. So you have a fairy garden. That's so cute. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks, Lola. I'll see you Bye. soon. Bye. <laughs> oh, we have Raleigh, Charlotte, Tatum. Hey, I see them all creating over there. Whenever you're ready, Jim, you can bring them on. Hi guys! Say hi. Hi. Tell her what you made. <gasps> oh, that's oh good. very nice. Did you guys paint the background black? We had black, um, thick construction paper. Awesome. You can't really see the fish. Yeah, it's hard to see it. She put a fish in hers. Uh, and see the white bubbles. The white bubbles from the fish. Yeah, you can't really. Oh, see yeah. them. I'm so trying to make cute. it be seen, but I don't know how. But that, I think that's a giraffe over there. Is that a giraffe? Yeah. I, I love it. Giraffe. You're so creative. So, and then Charlotte. I don't know where Charlotte is. That's my American flag. Okay, here. Stand up here. <laughs> I love your American flag. You made a pattern. Yeah. Red, white, red, white, red, white. Say that really fast. That's a great then, pattern. The blue, oh, yeah. The blue is here. Oh, great flag. I love it. Now you need some stars so, and a green, golden and green. he put golden and green on it he i said. love it great job thank you so thank you you're welcome raleigh get yours if you want to get yours and charlotte made hers similar but it has oh, a little wow. cloud in it. that looks great so you're using that's acrylic we yes it is acrylic paint right <laughs> Crocodile. Raleigh. Yeah, he's got a little crocodile thing. Here, look, show her your shirt. And then you know what? We've never painted a crocodile. We should do a crocodile one day. There, he's got it right there. You can't oh, that's a great flag. And that's his flag. And you have your flag shirt on. <laughs> uh huh. I'm going to put the stars on it. Once you it a... You're waiting. Yeah, he's waiting it. for his to dry to put the stars on it. That's smart. Be patient. I love your crocodile. Mm -hmm. You gave me an idea to do a crocodile picture. That'd be fun. That's the one I'm starting. Oh, that looks great. That's fun. It's a lot of fun. We enjoy oh, painting. Yeah. I'm gonna get a need for speed game. I'm glad you waited to do your start. Yes. Thanks, guys. Thank you. That's awesome. Oh my gosh. So see how everybody does their own thing that's what makes it so fun okay now 
I'm going to do, because I didn't do the stars yet either, and I didn't do the white stripes. So I'm going to do my white stripes because my red is dry. See, we got it had to be patient. And now I can go in here and do my white stripes. And I heard someone's here. Oh, Natasha, Sage, and Cora. Hi. 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 So this is my artwork. Oh, that's so pretty. So you show it a little closer. So you did it on white paper and you colored the background dark. Yeah, and then I have little fireflies. Oh, and little fireflies. That's awesome. And they're the sparklers, like lighting it everything up in the grass. And then I got the flag over here. I love it. That looks awesome. See, you totally did it different. You did not have to have a black background. You did it on white paper. That's great. So, okay, so I'm trying to make one by stitching. So far, I've gotten this far. Wow. That's a first. I have not seen anybody try to stitch the artworks. So you like to sew? She does. Uh-huh. Wow. I've I can... sewed on a sewing machine. I've done this before. I think I've even um, woven um some sort of long leaves together wow that is amazing i can't wait to see how that comes out and what i do whenever i stitch i usually stitch stitch stuff like this i'm working on it still and here's something something that was already finished oh that's like a, um what do you call uh what do you call those things pot holder that's awesome. So that's like a weaving. Right? Those pad holders are weavings. Those are so cool. Uh -huh. So do you girls like the bow or the bow? The bow. We like the bow better. Oh, and want me to show you how to make an X on this? It's called yeah. cross stitching. So when you make an X, I've already started, but you basically want to do the same. So like if you're going this way, then you're going this way, you're going to want to do that for everything. So the simplest way to make an X is to tie a knot when you're beginning, then go um, string your string through a hole, then go diagonal, then on the back go down through a hole, then go diagonal into a hole. Interesting. Well, you're going to send me a picture of that when it's done? Mm -hmm. Or hold it up next week so I can see it. If okay. you're done, it looks like it's going to take a while. I predicted that I'll be done tonight at best. Wow. Okay. Well, thanks, girls. Bye. Bye. And I'm Bella. Hi, girls. Hi. So you're saving? Um, I got something here. Okay. We have a second. Something. Okay. Yay. Yay. Ah! Yay. I love it. Wait, get, get it to the beginning, Emma. Oh, okay. Yay. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, I don't know. But yay. Yay. That's awesome. <laughs> You don't worry about those in the house? Yeah, it's okay. We have a jar of water right there. Yeah. <laughs> you just... That's okay. yeah. awesome. Okay. <laughs> okay. So this is oh, okay, this Emma. is mine. I'm showing it first. Love it. Love it. She actually did canvas today. Yeah, that was great. Do you guys have a black canvas or did you start with a white one? No, I painted it. She painted it. Like over here. Yeah, it's like, it was great. Yeah. She painted it all over. And then this is mine. Oh, that looks great. And then I painted it on cardboard. This is actually uh, repurposing a, a back of a notepad that was the canvas notepad. And they all canvas have the, paper. yeah, canvas paper notepad. And it, they all have these really nice backs which are the like the hard cardboard so mm -hmm. we're using this for painting yep.
Yeah, that's amazing. I love it. And thanks for the sparkles. Yes. Yay, some holiday spirit. Yes, you guys are ready, that's for sure. Yes. Thank you so much. I added three fireflies to mine. Let me see. Oh, there they are. No, not just right now. Oh, they're so cute. There they are. <laughs> oh my gosh, they are so cute. Okay, hat or bow? Hat or bow? The hat. Um, Ooh, bow, I, I think, probably. Mm. I don't know. I like the hat. You can do bow at first and then hat later. A <laughs> hat hides my messy hair that keeps what? going in my face. So. Ooh, put the bow on top of a hat. Or like, the, or like on the side of a hat. I don't know if it'll fit. Put on the, like, put it side, like on the side, like, um, well, it's got a hat parallel, on. parallel to the ground. There you go. <laughs> no, like parallel, to, <laughs> parallel. To, oh yeah, look at that. It worked. I love it. <laughs> Amazing. And, um, We're ready to go out. We just wanted to say that our dad was, um, well, he still is, or he is in Coast Guard. Coast Guard, and he is. A veteran. A veteran. Yeah, so we are oh. a military family. And you thank your dad for his amazing service. Yes. Always. Yeah, he's a pretty good guy. And then some people have very small, small hands. children here watching. <laughs> it's a fun craft to do. Yeah. It just involves white, red, and blue um, felt. felt and some pieces of Velcro and hot glue. Yes, so the parents really nice. should do it. Well, yes, the parents should do the hot gluing, but this is a really easy craft mm -hmm. for kids. Um, you know, nice for Memorial Day or Fourth of July, and then it doubles up with some superhero gear. <laughs> oh yeah, you know, Wonder Woman cuffs, right? Wonder Woman, Captain America, whatever. I'm gonna Captain America. Yeah, that's awesome. Thanks, you guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye. Thank Happy you. Memorial Bye. Day. You too. Heart. I think Alma's here. Alma, hi, Alma. Hi. I love your your. Is it a unicorn ears? Yeah, and horn. And horn. I love it. I didn't quite finish yet because I had class. Okay. I'm so glad you popped in, though. It's nice to see you. My mom drawed one just before the video started. Oh, that's good. Are you almost out of school? Um, yeah, I just have club. Oh, good. Okay. And, and I have piano lessons. That's amazing. Good for you. I love it. I love that you're wearing your horn. That's so cute. So thanks for joining us today. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye, Alva. Bye. All right, I gotta finish this, but I can't deal with both. It's kind of heavy. All right, let us let me fix my hair up a little bit. It does have a string, yeah. All right, let me finish. You guys are way ahead of me. All of us know, Alba, you're like where I am. You're, you're not, I'm not done. But so many of you guys got done quick today. So you can see how my white showing up great, but my red definitely needs a second coat. Look at that. So if you look up close, you, right? My red needs a second coat. So let me finish my white stripes. I love how you guys change it up with all these different art supplies. Sewing, felt, clay. I wanna do clay. That's what I call thinking outside the box. Trying a variety of supplies and materials. Doesn't have to be two dimensional, it could be three dimensional. Okay. And then for my stars, I'm just gonna, you guys, if you have um, star stickers, you can use star stickers. I'm gonna use the handle of my brush and I'm just gonna dip it and dot. So dip and dot, 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 dot. And of course, you guys know how many stars there are, right? Well, I'm not gonna put 50 dots on here. And what do the stars represent? I know you know. So we're just putting little dots, but I'm not gonna do 50. 
just to get it to where you like it. I am going to put one more coat of red, but I'm going to let it dry, right? Because I don't want pink in there. So I'm going to let it dry. I'm going to put some yellow in here and I'm going to throw some red in there too. So let's see. I didn't even do the yellow in that one yet. All right. So let's do some wispy yellow. And it can go right off the edge of the page if you want. I love that you guys are do, using paper, construction paper, canvas. Yeah, let's make this one come down a little bit more. And you guys, remember, glass reflects, right? So could I put some yellow here in my glass because it's reflecting it? Sure. It's reflecting the color. So you can put a little yellow in there. Put a little yellow down here. Why not? Put it wherever you want. Okay. I'm going to put some red in there too. And look, I want to add, I love the little fireflies, but I want to put some little lines coming out. farther how about those sparklers did you guys like that i love seeing the sparklers i did go looking for them i should have ordered them on amazon i was i was really thinking oh i don't want sparklers in my house and then i ran out but i couldn't find them so i was like oh they're probably they probably don't even sell them anymore and then if you want to put some dots in the sky too, again, you could put like little dots, little dots. Wherever you want, right? Because it's fun. It's a celebration. And then if you want to do those little fireflies. Little yellow circles. You could do a moon. All right. And I'm still not sure what word I'm going to. You guys, if you're still with me, give me a word to use. What word do you want me to put? You want me to put free? You want me to put love you want me to put nothing i don't know you guys tell me i'm going to add red now i'm going to do red in here and that firework now be careful when you do it because if you mix the red and the yellow together you're going to get orange Right? Red and yellow are two primary colors. You mix them together, you're going to get orange. But if you want orange, fireworks is fine. You want to add glitter. Silver glitter would be cool. Mosh Posh glitter would be really cool too, just to give it a little bling. There's some red in there. I could add red in my other one too. Why not? I didn't, let's just make them a little different. So I can put some red in here. Now when those, I'm the embellished lit that sparkler, it looked kind of silver. If you have silver paint or a silver crayon, you can do that. Let's see what else. Now again, if something gets too solid, you can always go back into it with more black. I like the red in there. What do you guys think? All right, what word? Did anybody give me a word? No one gave me a word. Do you want ball? You guys wrote the word ball in there. Um, I was thinking, let's see. How about brave? How about brave? You want brave or you want free? 
Brave or free? I gotta be careful when I go through these lines. You're gonna, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna soften the lines up because then you won't be able to read it. And I can always go back into it later. And I'm doing cursive, you guys. Do you know cursive? Some kids don't know cursive anymore. But you guys wrote the word ball free. Okay, so now I can go back and kind of put my line back. But if I had left that line there, you would not have been able to read the word free over it, right? Because it would you wouldn't have had the contrast. And I liked how you could put little wings. Looks like a flower, doesn't it? You could add flowers, that's my little firefly. My baby firefly. And there you have it. How'd everybody do today? You guys, thank you for coming on and sharing. Jim, thank you for running behind the scenes. You guys can message me. You guys can send me photos. Artist at Heart Paint Party. Facebook, Artist at Heart Paint Party YouTube. You guys can go to artistatheart.org, which is my full website. You guys can message me. I'd love to see photos. And again, add glitter, add sparkles, add little beads. You can add anything you want to to give it some pizzazz. Write any word you want and wash out those paint brushes, right? You guys don't, I mean, creating is a lot of fun, but don't forget to clean up, especially those paint brushes. If you guys are using acrylic paint and you don't wash out those paint brushes, you have to throw them away. So definitely wash them. I could probably put the whole word freedom on there, couldn't I? You want me to write? Oh, Alba's back. Hey, Alba. Yeah, you can bring up Alba. Hey, Alba. So, um, I put fireworks in the sky, too. I love it, and I love your flag. You did a great job. Very, very nice. You did a great job. Oh, I didn't even see your, so you have a unicorn shirt on, too. I didn't see that before. Thanks. Love it. Thanks. Bye. I love when they dress up like that. That's why I try to be silly too. So if you guys haven't seen us before, we um, we can be silly. So it's fun to dress up when, you know, why not, right? So a lot of times we, we get silly. So what do you guys think? Should I do freedom or should we, what time is it? I feel like I've been on here forever. I feel like the kids are so far ahead of me. D-O-M, freedom. Okay, so what I got to do then, watch again. I'm going to black out this line right here. Because I'm going to turn it into freedom. So people automatically think that I have great handwriting because I'm an artist and I really actually don't have great handwriting. So if I'm in person and I'm doing, you know, like an in-person job and they asked me to write something, I said, I'd be happy to write it for you, but I don't have great handwriting. 
So a lot of people have like really fancy. There, freedom. I hope I spelled it right. <laughs> All right, you guys. Thank you for creating with me. I'm Denise with Artists at Heart. You guys, all of our members, thanks for coming on and sharing. And you guys have a beautiful, blessed week. And celebrate and be careful. And I will see you guys again soon. Thank you. Bye, you guys.